Hi guys, and what a momentous occasion. Uh, two days ago, we're in the Electronics Repair on YouTube, reached 10,000 subscribers. And I was amazed. Um, it took the channel six, almost six months to get to 1,000. And then six months more to get to 10,000. And that's something I was very surprised to see happen. And I've got to say, thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you from me. It's all down to you guys. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Uh, one member, one subscriber in particular, who happens to live very near to me, uh, Carlos, from uh, Retro Upgrade, his little YouTube channel, he, he made me this on his 3D printer, and his, his little girl presented it to me on Monday. <laughs> and I was gobsmacked, yeah, <laughs> speechless. So thank you very much, Carlos. That's, that's just amazing. That'll take pride of place. Yeah, cheers, mate. So I thought just a uh, special little video, and since I reached 10,000, I haven't made any videos for almost three days. And the reason being, at the weekend, uh, we had, it's the spring tide, yeah, it's the spring tide at this time of year. So when we get the highest uh, tides, and always at this time of year, we get a lot of strong wind and maybe some showers. Uh, which is unusual, considering that in the south of Gran Canaria, we get about 88 millimetres of rain a year. Um, which, compared to where I came from in the northwest of England, you get that before breakfast, yeah. <laughs> so, um, this uh, severe, well, you, by local terms, it's severe weather, yeah. So, I'll just tell you here, if it's cloudy, we get a yellow warning for clouds, yeah. If it's... If it's cloudy, yeah. if it's cloudy and a bit of drizzle and rain, we get uh, amber warning. And if it rains, the school shut. Yeah. That's how it is here. So, due to the high winds, a lot of people's satellite dishes went out of line. And this is something else I do. This is one of the business I originally set up when I came here. So, I'm not going to do a repair on this video. I'm going to keep it a short one. Uh, I just thought maybe some of you guys might like to see what I do when I'm not sitting at the workbench here. And another aspect of the business I have here. Um, I'll dub over this because I wasn't able to actually create a proper video. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. So you can see then it's uh, a very nice morning. Uh, 29 centigrade. <laughs> and it's 22 left in the morning. So I've come out uh, to look at the satellite dish in uh, a bar. Who um, basically says he's got no signal. Let's take a stroll down to the bar. So this is the place, Paddy's Bar. And you can see he's got a couple of dishes, actually three dishes on the roof. And um, he says he's got no picture, but in actual fact, he has got a signal this morning. Uh, it came back off by its own, but he said, kind of going to have a look anyway. So, uh, <laughs> here's this very safe ladder, which he's now going up against the wall, and I'm going to use that to climb onto this roof. Because uh, I can't be bothered to walk all the way down with my long safe ladder, yeah? Okay. Needs must. So, this is the roof, and this is the dish we've just seen that's the one that's giving the problem. And you can see there's a very nice view from up here. It's one of the advantages of working here, living and working. Okay, got to do some work. So, there's nothing wrong with the dish, and they've eventually found this uh, connector here. And it's, it's come loose. Somebody was working on the roof yesterday, and they've obviously just not the connects with a bit loose. Anyway, sorted. He asked me to look at his other dish now um, because he said he thinks it's like his last legs. Uh, that's this one. But I've just got to stop and admire the view again, yeah? Gotta be done. This is Mass Palomas, by the way. Mass Palomas Beach. 
and this is the dish he asked me to have another look uh, yeah all held together with a bit of insulation tape that's normal here uh, dish arm like completely rotted through that's normal here due to the salt water in the air basically uh, so this needs changing okay so that was it job done i got paid just for the loose connection uh, i'll order another dish to replace the other one next week and uh, let's just take a stroll back down to the van now i thought i'd just show you the place a little bit it's quite early in the morning so um well <laughs> 20 to 11 is quite early in the morning here, yeah. <laughs> and you'll see, obviously, all the tradesmen are out, all the vans are here, everybody's getting the work done in the morning uh, because it gets a bit warm in the afternoon, to be quite honest. So that's a quick look around uh, where I live and work. This is five minutes drive from the office, from the workshop. And uh, yeah, job done. Got paid. Big job booked in replacing that dish for next week. And uh, let's go back to the workshop now. If I can remember where I left the van. <laughs> So that's what I do when I'm out and about, when I'm not in the workshop. And um, due to the weather, I had quite a lot of work for the last couple of three days, basically fixing satellite dishes. Uh, one yesterday, I didn't actually take my phone because I can't answer the phone I'm working on site. I left it with my wife, but uh, I went to one job. So this is on a, a flat roof, a uh, satellite dish. And he said, I've got no signal. It's gone off early on in the storm. And um, I went up and this particular flat roof has like a white slatted like a lowry type fencing yeah all the way around the center part and it's to hide the satellite dishes and things that are on the in the, in the aircon units in the middle to make it look a bit better and it had blown over quite a section of this like uh, plastic slatted fencing and when i went up there i found that the only reason the plastic slatted fencing wasn't flat on the ground is because it had come down on top of his satellite dish uh, ripped uh, one of the raw bolts out of the wall the satellite dish had then hit the ground coops quite low down the fence had come down on top of it it was bent like a banana oh, so that's, that's a good enough reason uh, not to have a signal yeah and sure didn't have my camera with me yesterday anyway hope you enjoyed it you can see what i do here i hope you think this is a beautiful place i think it's a beautiful place and um, thank you one more time to all you guys for hitting subscribe and for Carlos who made me this. Ciao for now guys.